Welcome to the Raven Knoll Show, the ultimate space for multifaceted, multi-gifted women ready to transform inwardly and create a powerful impact outwardly and redefine what it means to thrive with God at the center of it all. I'm your host, Raven C. Knoll, counselor, coach, leader, founder, and speaker. Get ready to ignite your inner fire and unlock your potential. Because here, we dive into the heart of inner work, explore biblical principles, share prophetic wisdom, and leverage professional expertise. Whether you're looking to grow in your spiritual walk, elevate professionally, strengthen your family life, or enhance your overall well-being, you'll find it here. So let's dive in. Hello and welcome to the Raven Knoll Show. I am your host, Raven C. Knoll, and I am thrilled to have you with me today. Let me say how excited I am to be back. Uh, This is truly my comeback episode. I've missed podcasting so much, y'all. I just love podcasting, and I had to take me a little bit of a break from podcasting because life be lifing, okay? (laughs) When people say that, they are 100% correct. Um, I had my son back in 2023. And before that, I was pregnant most of 2022, had my son at the top of 2023 um, in January. And then I went through some different life transitions, ventures, all kind of stuff happened between my last episode that aired and this episode. But podcasting is absolutely something that I love. And so it feels so good to be back. So thank you for tuning in, Um, whether this is your first time listening to a Raven No Show episode, or you are a faithful listener, thank you so much for being back. Thank you so much for joining me and just being here. Your presence and your support means the absolute world to me. So I don't take it lightly when you show up and you watch any of the videos on YouTube or you listen to the podcast on any streaming networks. I'm just very, very grateful for each and every one of you. Before we dive into today's episode, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me so that you you never miss an episode. I want to make sure that every time I release an episode, you are made aware. And also do me a huge favor and leave me a review. Your support helps me to reach more listeners. It helps me to make a greater impact for the kingdom of God. And it really just gets the news out there about the Raven Knoll show. So either pause this video and go leave a review or pause this episode and go leave a review or after you watch this episode, go and leave a review for me. All right. So in today's episode, we're going to be talking about unlocking your multi-gifted potential. Yes. We're going to be talking about unlocking your multi-gifted potential. And if you've been following me on social, then you know that I've been talking about this, that I was bringing back the podcast with a little bit of a twist and that the podcast focus would change between the last time I released episodes and this time. And this time around, I am actually focusing on the multifaceted, multi-gifted woman. Why? Because I am her. Okay. I am she. And over the last, I would say one to two years, I started to really realize more and more that there's so many different sides to me. I've really been on a journey with the Lord of allowing every aspect of I, of who I am to shine and to come forth. You know, I wear many hats. I function in many roles. I do a whole lot of things. And I felt like, you know, I started to really feel, feel like I was bursting at the seams, trying to fit into this box or into this mold. You know what I mean? Like I felt like I was starting to outgrow grow a space, a season, a time in my life. And I couldn't really find language for what that was. You know, I was, I was doing what I usually do as far as like business and showing up on social media and working with clients. And I was hosting the Raven Knoll show. And right around that time when I got pregnant with my son um, is when I started to feel kind of like a shift, but I was still pressing forward. I was still moving forward and, you know, what I knew to be true at that time. And then shortly after I had my son, I just felt like something internally was shifting. And I felt as if I was 
was trying to remain in a box that I no longer fit in. Like I literally felt like I was bursting at the seams, just trying to continue to stay in maybe an old season, right? And not really moving forward because I didn't have language. I didn't know what it was. I wasn't really sure why I felt the way that I felt. But I started to realize over time that it was I was boxing myself in and God was really trying to stretch me. He was trying to expand me. He was trying to um, cause me to move into a new perspective about how I see myself and and who I was. And so over time, I started to realize that I was more than just a counselor. I was more than just a coach. I was more than just a mom. I was more than just a wife. I was more than just a prophet. I wore all of those hats, Simon instantaneously. And so, you know, when I first launched this podcast, my business was heavily focused on helping high achieving women unlock their potential. I was the inner work specialist. I was working, you know, helping you focus on the inner barriers and overcoming those things. I was talking about things like imposter syndrome and self-sabotage and, you know, core belief systems and limiting beliefs and all these different things. And I was really focusing a lot of my content on helping high achieving women, you know, overcome these barriers. And I still do that. I still work with clients to this day. I still work with clients that are high achieving women. I still work with leaders, helping them to get breakthrough, helping them to gain clarity, helping them to overcome the internal barriers that hold them back. But I also do other things. You know, over the last year, I've also launched um, a new program called Prophetic Arrows, a brand new brand in a sense, you know, you can call that a brand if you want to, but it was really something that God placed on my heart. And Prophetic Arrows is a mentorship program. And I started to equip women who are prophetic. I help them to activate their gifts, embrace their purpose and make an impact in their sphere of influence. So over the last year, the Lord has really been tugging at my heart as well as showing up again in the fullness of who I am. I'm a prophet and I've been called to help develop and equip other prophets and other prophetic people. And so that's an expression of who I am. And so God's like, this is also who you are. And so I started to do that. And then over the last year, my husband and I also launched the H3 Hub, which is now a ministry that both of us lead together. And the mission and focus of it is mobilizing discipleship beyond Sunday. So now I'm leading a ministry with my husband. So there's been so many Many different things that have happened that have been birthed since um, my last couple of podcast episodes. And as you can see, I have different hats that I wear and different roles that I show up in. I mean, I even have other partnerships that I have with other brands and businesses where I certify and train life coaches. On top of this, I am a wife. I'm a mom. I'm a friend. I'm a sister. I wear all these hats. I have all these roles. And so this is what I mean that I felt as if I was being boxed in with just trying to express one part of myself or just allow one expression of who I am to be brought to the forefront. And God was like, no, 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 and no again. So I am no longer willing to be boxed in. That is where I'm at in my life where, all right, I can bring all the different parts of me. I can bring all the different hats that I wear. I can bring all the different roles that I play. Every single one of them can shine here. So I want the Raven Knoll show to be the central location where again, I bring all of who I am. And at that, I bring God here because one of the things I struggle with as well, previously when I was doing my episodes is that I wanted to stay on the side of professional, right? I wanted to, you know, I was working with professional women. I was working with high achieving women. And so I didn't want to cross those boundaries of always bringing scripture into what I did and always bringing faith into what I did, but we're scratching all of that. Okay. Because ultimately the reason I can be who I am and the reason I can show up in the fullness of who I am and the reason why I can shine the way that I do, the reason why I can thrive the way that I do, the way, the reason why I can have the success that I have is because of God. He is the glue, okay, that holds every single part of who I am together. He is the reason why my life is blessed, right? I've been blessed with children. I've been blessed with a husband. I've been blessed with friendships. I've been blessed with good health. I've been blessed blessed with finances. I've been blessed with gifts, skills. I've been blessed with so many different things, you know, a right mind. Come on here. And he is the reason for it. So 
He is the reason why, again, that my life is thriving in all aspects of who I am. So we are going to talk about that on the Raven Knoll show. I want to be able to show up in all the different expressions of who I am and also help you understand that God should be the center. The reason why we thrive is because God is at the center of it all. So I wanna redefine for women who are multifaceted and women who are multi-gifted, how to do that, how to thrive with God being at the center, which is the core of my life. So I know it's gonna be super relatable and I know it's gonna be super enjoyable because it is for the multifaceted and for the multi-gifted who can relate to being such. So if you're like me and you've been feeling just that nudge to break out of the box, that nudge to go beyond, you know, the season of life that maybe you're currently in, maybe you started to feel as if things were shifting for you. Maybe you started to feel as if things were changing, things were turning, that you were no longer feeling as if you could still show up in the same capacity you were showing up in. Maybe you feel like God was trying to do something internal and external to your life, right? And you're like, what? in the world is spinning. I feel like my life is shifting. I feel like my world is being turned upside down. Lord, I've been focused in this area for the last one, two, three, four, five and beyond years. And now I don't feel as fulfilled in this area anymore. I don't feel as if I want to continue down this path. And you're like, man, what in the world? But maybe that again is God nudging you to break out of the box, to shatter it. Okay. And you have my support in doing so because I've been there, I've done that, and now I'm on the other side of it. Because listen, way too many times we end up trying to follow the pattern of someone else. This is why we end up boxed in as multi-gifted and multifaceted individuals because we follow the patterns of those who feel as if they are gurus or this is the way that you should do it. Or you go on social media and you look at other people's lives and you're like, they're, they're successful doing it this way. So maybe I should do it this way, right? But we, we, we don't want to take someone else's blueprint that God gave them for their life and try and make it work for us, okay? You cannot take someone else's blueprint that God gave to them for their life and try to make it work for you. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna apply to you. You have to stop trying to squeeze into a model of life and a model of doing things that was never intended for you right? People are successful in what they do. And that's a good thing. They're successful because they did it the way maybe God told them to do it. They did it in a way that was authentic to them. They did it in a way that works for them, their lifestyle, their DNA, their personality, the way that God created them and made but you have to do it your way, okay? And again, this is why it's a detriment sometimes to have social media because we become better students of other people's lives than we do our own. Because at any time we can pick up a phone and we can observe what someone else has going on. We can observe the way that somebody else is doing it. You can get on YouTube and see all these different things. They call it YouTube University for a reason, right? You can learn so much on YouTube, but then you have to be careful because you'll start to adopt someone else's success pattern. And that's not your pattern. That's not the way God made you. That's not the way that he intended for your life to go. That's not the way that he wants you to build whatever you're building, or he, that's not the way that he wants success to happen in your life. And so you have to become a better student of you, just like you learned just like you learned algebra, algebra, just like you learned chemistry and any other complicated subject in school, you had to study it, right? The teacher taught you something and you had to learn it in order to pass your tests, you know, in school, unless you were cheating or something, you know what I'm saying? You had to learn that material for that time, for that season of your life. Now, to know yourself, okay, is the same way. You have to learn about yourself. You have to study who you are. You have to study the way that God made you. You have to study the way that you think. You have to study your life history. You have to study God's original intent for you and your design. And I will say this as well. To know yourself is to know God. 
Okay, I'll repeat that. To know yourself is to know God because he's the one who created you. If you're going to become a better student of yourself, ultimately, you have to become a better student of God because he is the one that created your purpose. He is the one that created your uniqueness. He is the one that created your multifacetedness, if that's even a word, right? You have to know him to know you. So unlocking your multi-gifted potential is all about knowing the creator, right? To become a better student of yourself, ultimately you have no choice but to become a better student of your word. You have no choice but to spend more time with God because you're gonna beat yourself up trying to understand you and you're not the one that made you. God is the one who created you. God is the one who ordained you before the foundations of the earth. God is the one who wrote a book about your life before you were even born. God is the one who called you from your mother's womb. And so when you start to study yourself, ultimately what you're doing is you're taking a deep dive into the ways of God. You're taking a deep dive into the thought processes of God. You're taking a deep dive into the scriptures because the scripture is going to reveal truth to you. All right. So if he's nudging you, be more authentic to who he created you to be. I like the way, honestly, the, the voice version of the Bible states this. Okay. So if God is nudging you to be more authentic to who he created you to be, I want you to think about this scripture, all right? Psalms 139, 23 through 24. And it says, explore me, O God, and know the real me. Dig deeply and discover who I am. Put me to the test and watch how I handle the strain. Examine me to see if there's an evil bone in me and guide me down your path forever. What is this scripture essentially saying? It's saying, God, reveal who I am to me, align who I am with you, your plans, your path, right? Help me to understand, reveal these things to me because only the only way that I can see the trueness of who I am, the only way that I can understand the fullness of who I am is if you reveal it, okay? So maybe you need to pray this prayer. Maybe this needs to be something that is on your heart, especially if you feel like God is breaking you out of a box. You need to pray Psalms 139, 23 through 24. Explore me, oh God, and know the real me. Dig deeply and discover who I am. Put me to the test and watch how I handle the strain. Examine me to see if there is an evil bone in me and guide me down your path forever. And then ask God to unlock you. If you feel like you are starting to break out of this box and you feel like you've allowed culture or you've allowed society or, or you've allowed the opinions of others or you've allowed the pressures of others to box you in, pray that prayer, pray that scripture, and then ask God to unlock you, to break you free from living in a mold that was never intended for your life. I pray that you have the courage to ask God to break you free. I pray that you have the courage to ask God to unlock you, okay? I pray that you find freedom in this as well. Maybe you don't wear as many hats as I do. Maybe you don't function in as many roles as I do. Maybe you do. Maybe you wear more hats than I do. Maybe you have more roles in life that you have to play than I do. But my prayer is that you find freedom no matter uh, the different gifts that you have, no matter the different skill sets that you have, no matter the different talents that you have. I pray that you find freedom today and that you discover the courage within to live out your life authentically because authentic living is freedom to live authentically in the trueness of who you are, to live in the fullness of who you are, that is freedom. So I pray that, you know, this episode really did help you to understand the importance of just you being you. I hope that it also just encourages you to pray a prayer of God unlocking the multifacetedness, and that's a word I made up, y'all, of who you are and the multi-giftedness of who you are and that you no longer box yourself in. Time out, time out, you know, living in this box. It's time to live in the fullness of freedom, in the fullness of who you are, in the full authentic nature of who you are so you can show up and impact this world in a greater way. The only way that we can truly be impactful and the only way that we can truly be influential in the way that God desires for us to do in this earth is if we're authentic, 
We have to be true to who we are. And I'm not just preaching at you. I'm not just trying to teach you this or encourage you or motivate you in this. I live by this. And this is a core lesson that I've had to learn in my life as well, that it's okay to be all of who I am. I don't have to put a cap on any part of me. I don't have to uh, suppress any part of me. I don't have to become dimmer in any part of me. Every aspect of who I am, God ordained it to be so. Therefore, I need to show up as such. That is how we help the Lord to advance his kingdom. And that is how we, we make more impact in the world. So thanks for rocking with me today. I hope that this episode encourages you. I hope that it puts a fire in you to be all of who you are. Until next time, keep thriving and making an impact. 